Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a decluttering video. You'll have to forgive me, my cameras are totally hating on me today. And you'll see it throughout this video because I have clip after clip where I have to like change a camera, change something, and I make it flow, it works. But it was a disaster in the filming process. It took me way too long to get it done. Let's go declutter my makeup collection. So these are the things I'm throwing away. Uh, this is the Focaler palette. It's super pretty, actually. It's the We Care Your Favors. I mean, it's a little bit grammatically incorrect for like a translation. But, so, these shades are actually super pretty and the shadows were amazing while I used them. But now, it's been beat up. It's kind of older. And I feel like... The last on the eyes, like, it's long-lastingness is just not enough for me, uh, unless you have a really, really great primer. If you have the, um, let's see, the Pure Cosmetics Get a Grip Primer, these will stay on all day. It doesn't matter. You just gotta have a really good primer. But because they're old enough, you can see it's kind of beat up. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one, um, is old, beat up too, getting rid of it. This, this is so old. I'm throwing that away. I'm sorry. My camera is so bad. Anyways, these are the things I'm throwing away. Some old sponges that have held just too much stuff. Ooh, whoops. This is supposed to go in my giveaway. That's a giveaway one. Um, a broken, broken tart lip paint. I really do like it. It's broken. Some old brushes. Mascaras that are just, like, out. I had, like, all the... Lancome mascaras. This is the Hypnos Drama. Uh, the Definit. The what is the other one? Definisils. Let's see. Um, this is a super super old bronzing powder. That's this one's out. I think I really liked this one though. This is a porcelain ivory stay matte. Just don't use too much of that. This was an old Lancome blush brush. Lancome blush. It's out. Um, a matte. <laughs> this is so old. This is by Almay, and this is in the shade Smart 
butter kiss. And I really, really liked that. Um, here's another Lancome Hypnos Drama sample. This is a Duce, uh, Duce Max Lash Volumizer. This one's dried out, so it's a goner. This is the Definis Sills by Lancome Mascara. Loved this paired with their Sill Booster, which I think is in here somewhere. Their Sill Booster, it's like a um, primer for your lashes. I really loved this. This was a Mary Kay At Play uh, shadow combination. It had like a dark eyeliner pencil on one side and a shadow on the other side and this was a great eye primer I really liked this one this was another one of their colors these are just so old it's not even right to have these um, I used this as a liquid contour for a while because it's way darker than my shade but then it got old I dropped it on the floor I don't do <laughs> enough liquid contour so that one's trash let's see uh, another little Definisil's, uh sample size this is Oh, the Rimmel Brick Radiance Brick. This was actually quite nice. You just have to scrape the surface to get any product off of it. So if you get this, you're going to have to scrape it a little bit before you use it. I used like the back of my brush to scrape it every time, and then I would use it, and it worked quite well. Um, this is the Demolished Butter Bronzer. Loved it. Another Demolished Butter Bronzer. Loved it. This is um, a Lancome. Which one was this? Oh, the other one was eyeshadow. This was the blush. It's been used and abused. It's on death's door. This is an old uh, Sweetheart Shadow sample from smmcosmetics.com. Uh, it's just so old. This one is a really old cream eyeshadow from Mary Kay. And it's just too old to be used anymore. Let's see. Um, oh, this is a Wet n Wild brow pencil. And it's basically gone. It was decent. Really wasn't anything to be excited about. Uh, this was from Wish, and it was like a, they're obviously trying to copy uh, Tarte la Shape Tape. See, at the bottom it says Shape Tape, but it says Key Best. So they're copying the Shape Tape um, packaging, and it was a decent concealer, but to be honest, after the things I learned about non-regulated cosmetics, I'm never using these again. Um, this is an old Mary Kay. Uh, let's see if it'll focus. Maybe it won't. This is a super old Mary Kay uh, liquid eyeliner. Oh my goodness, my camera's freaking out again. Anyways, these are some more things that are old or I used them up. The Bare Skin uh, Concealer by Bare Minerals was really good. The uh, Clean Concealer by CoverGirl I liked. The This is a Cella brow pencil and it had like a dip feature. So, oh whoops, not that one. Where'd it go? This, so you would dip a brush into this side, to this side that held the product. Um, and I actually quite liked it. Uh, the angle of the brush didn't work as well with the dipping strategy, I guess, because the brush was angled and the cream was flat. And so it just didn't dip in there to the exact way I wanted it. Uh, tantalizing taupe eyebrow cream. It was a little bit too dark for this blonde girl, but I did try to use this up. I took it on my trips with me and used it as like a backup brow pencil if I needed. Um, let's see, some more expired stuff. This is the Sill Booster that I was talking about. Let's see if I can grab it. This is the Sill Booster by Lancome. And when you pair this with any of their mascaras, but especially the De Definisils, I really, really liked that combination for a long time. Um, this is the Bare Minerals concealer that I liked for quite a while. Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. My phone's camera literally is shutting off like every minute. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Palette. It was actually a good palette. It's just a tiny bit too warm for me, and it's older now, so I'm going to just dismiss it. I don't use it enough to really keep it. This is an old Lancome palette. I loved these shades so much. I used up the lightest shades. I used so much of this palette. I loved it. It was glorious. I don't even know if they sell this one anymore because it's been like two years, two and a half years. That's why it's time to toss this thing. It was the color design palette. It was so good. All right, so let's see. Just more sponges, some brushes, some mascaras that were really not that great. That was a Wet n Wild Mega Volume. Definitely not the Mega Volume, but if you need a cheap mascara, it works. Um, pretty much the basics. This lip paint, this is a Tarte lip paint that the lid broke off of. When I twisted it, it just broke, even though I like this lip paint. I can't really use it now because the lip, lid broke. This one is just, I bought this on Poshmark, 
but I think it was old enough then that when I got it that I didn't even really know that it was relatively old already. So I'm tossing it now. You can see it's separating. All right, my camera just keeps shutting off. So this is what I'm throwing away. It's either broken, it's either old, or it didn't really work for me and no one else would probably like it. So this is what I'm tossing. You'll have to excuse the disaster on my table right now. I've got like all my skincare I was doing with, doing stuff with and um, reviewing this, these, what am I trying to say? Reviewing these cosmetics. I've got my like little tax folder over there. My uh, makeup set up for when I do sample shows with people. So it's kind of a mess right now, but that's my toss bin. I'm gonna go throw that away right now. I'm starting to grow a hatred for my phone right now. It shuts off constantly while I'm trying to record. So what I said essentially was that this was all the way full. I took it to my friends and I let them rummage through it and see what they want. Uh, this is what's left that I'm going to be taking to Goodwill. Pacifica eyeshadow quad, a Focaler eyeshadow set. Actually, I think there's more than four in here. Yeah, there's like six in here. Um, this foundation is just too light for me. A couple cool lipsticks that are just not my coloration. Um, Dose of Colors is just too cold. This one's too red. It's a Physician's Form. Or no, this is a Burt's Bees one. Um, just a couple other makeup bags. Simple little things. Mostly it's just because they're not my color. So most of it's like I'm never going to wear that color or it's not my color. I think the only things I had like um, an issue with were these are not as long lasting as I wanted them to be unless you have a really, really good eyeshadow primer. And same goes for these. That's a color issue, color issue, color issue. Yeah, basically everything else, it's just not a color that I want. Um, this one, this lip, or this, sorry, this eyeliner is just, um, I have one that's about the same color that's much higher quality. I got this at like a Dollar General for a dollar type video, and so I don't need this one anymore. My camera's tweaking again. Man, this phone is garbage. All right, so... That is what's left. That's what I'm going to give to Goodwill or anybody else I know that wants to come rummage through this. These are the things I'm going to give to my mom. Uh, the foundations are just a little darker, so it'll work for her. The uh, lip colors are nice and natural, so maybe she'll like those. And then some brushes that uh, she might enjoy if she doesn't uh, have any of those. And then this is uh, the Mad for Mats palette. My camera froze. Hopefully you heard me. This is the Mad for Mats palette. Um by elf and she really likes those matte colors that are in it so that's what i'm going to be giving my mom and that little bag over there she might like that my camera is being so bad i'm so sorry if this is super choppy my google pixel 2 xl has i don't know it started out great but now that it's past two years it is starting to go downhill and the videos for sure i don't know what's happening it stops all the time Let's see if you can see me I got sick of my phone stopping all the time, so I'm testing out my seriously super, super old backup camera. And I'm gonna try to use it right now, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna get my phone back out and redo all this. But my epically backup, 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 man, backup camera is what I'm gonna use to try to show you what I'm keeping. So, I have, these are the brushes I'm keeping. I have some uh, Real, Technique, Real Techniques brushes. I've got a lot of, um, Luxie brushes, some uh, brushes from Ipsy, uh, let's see, Aesthetica Beauty. Uh, these ones are Moda. I really love Moda brushes, they're really good. This one is Farah, also a good brush, some Eco Tool brushes, um, some Miss Glam brushes or Missy Glam, an e.l.f. powder brush. These ones are BoxyCharm exclusive brushes. Um, let's see. I think that's the basic of the brushes I've kept. I think this is another Farrah brush. Yeah, I like the Farrah brushes. I like the Ipsy, the Miss Glam, um, Luxie, Eco Tools, Real Techniques, and Mary Kay brushes. And then this is another one my husband got me. It's a Kabuki brush. I don't think it's a specific brand. It's a cruelty-free brush, synthetic. It's ideal, blah, 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 blah. Doesn't say it's branding. It was just one he got me, I think, at TJ Maxx. I've got some of my beauty blenders still. Oh, oh no, I'm going to drop stuff. So, this is, the one I'm using is over on my table right now, and it's the Mary Kay blending sponge. These three 
are they all need to be cleaned but these ones are glam beauty glam and beauty or something like that you can get at walmart pretty decent um this one i got at family dollar also decent not as um not as good as these two actually it doesn't swell to the same size and have the same lightness and then this one is no matter how many times i've cleaned it it still has this appearance um this is the Juno and Co. Velvet Sponge, and I really did like this with my mousse foundations. I have not tried it with my most recent foundation that's water-based, so I'll need to try that again. But those are the sponges I've kept. Um, this is the Sol de Janeiro, or Sol de Janeiro, I don't know how to say it. I can't say it. I'm a white kid. Um, it's like a bum bum cream, and it's kind of hilarious. I think it's for going out in the sun. sun it's a Brazilian bum bum cream, and I really like it, so I have two of these. Over here I have one of my compacts with some more Mary Kate eyeshadows inside of it. And then some Mary Kate lip glosses. I have my, it's like a, a cuticle trimmer I think. And then an eyelash curler. I rarely ever use this. This is one of those little razors for the side of your face or something to try to get rid of hair. Um, I rarely use that as well. This is a jade roller. I love this when I remember to use it. It feels so good on your face. And then I've got a bunch of my other brushes that are over here as well. And these are more of my like detail brushes. And they're Luxie, Alamar Cosmetics, Moda, Aesthetica, Ruby, Crown, um, Miss Glam. Let's see, I think that's about it. Luxie, I have one, one Anastasia brush that came with my Subculture palette. This brush sucks so bad. Uh, some more Moda brushes, Luxie, Alamar, Evo Tools. Uh, that's basically the gist. And then I have some Mary Kay brushes over on my table. Oh, this is a long comb brush too. One long comb brush. All right. And then I have my some scissors that I use for various things. Uh, this is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow Spray. And then the Tarte uh, Ready Set Radiant Spray. This sprayer really sucks, but the formula inside it is nice and it smells good. But my sprayer, for some reason, is really not, it's like, it drops, like really heavy droplets instead of being a nice fine mist. Then I have, um, I like a hydrating spray from Aveen, um, a long wear spray from Hard Candy. This is actually a really good spray for, like, the price that it is. I think it's only, like, $6. And then I have um, a Coconut Rose Hydrating Face Mist. And that's what I have for face mist. I do have the Mary Kay uh, Scandinavia spray as well. It's just over on my table right now. Oh, this is just like my little pencil sharpener. I have two eyeshadow pencil sharpeners that I just put in this little thing. And I need to go clean them out again. This is a little fan I bought at the dollar store. And it needs. I need to go replace its batteries. It died like my last facial. Uh, it's really nice. I love it because when I put spray on my face... Or I use my setting spray and I, or I'm doing a dewy look, I can fan it off, make it look good. Or if you're just feeling hot, you can spray it. Um, my Pop Sonic Mister. I think it's battery's dead, so it's not going to work. Dang it, I need to go charge it. Um, this is a really nice mister or a way to like set or rejuvenate your face as well. Um, it's pretty awesome, actually, for such a silly little thing. My mother-in-law and my sister-in-law both really want one of these. If you want to find out more about it, uh, it sprays water out here. You can go watch my really old video reviewing this bit, uh, Pop Sonic Mister, and it's quite a few down in my lineup, but you can go look at it. Actually, I'll link it. I'll put a little card up here, and then I'll put a link below that says go watch the Pop Sonic Mister video. Um, then we're going to move into the first drawer. This drawer, I have my primers and my lotions. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have samples I still need to try. I have my sponges um, that I are still yet to use, and they're clean. I've got the little bag for the mister and backup water for it. Then, let's see. This is airbrush legs makeup. This is something I really enjoyed having um, in the transition between summer and fall. And I was like trying to <laughs> wear something that would show my legs and I was so white. And this kind of just combed them over, made them look nice, gave me a little bit of false tan. I really actually like this stuff. It's called Airbrush Legs. I thought the first time I saw this, I thought, how ridiculous. But what's cool is I don't have to have a silly striped fake tan. 
I can just do this for one day and look good and I don't have to look all orange and fake. Uh, this is my false lashes I have in here. So it's in a little long comb bag. I have, I rarely ever wear these. These are the, I think this is, what is this? Baddingtonlashes.com. This set, do they have a name? Baddington Lashes. All your eyes, all else false. All else fails, bat your lashes. These are just, I don't know, they're Baddington lashes. They're nice, they're pretty. I don't wear them super often, but this is what I wear. Or this is one of my sets that I do have that I like. Um, I have this set from Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. Whoops, one of them fell up here. These ones are really, really intense. Uh, so I, I don't wear these very often at all because they're really, really long and... Um, not very natural looking. Uh, then I've got this set. These are the Faux Mink Lashes from... Who are these from? Limited Edition Faux Mink. These are Lily Lashes. And these ones are really, really, really full lashes, but they're actually quite nice. I like them. They're a little bit more natural looking, even though they're really full. And then, let's see, I think I have one more pair. These lashes came from Tarte. And these are very very full glamorous lashes as well but they're nice lashes so i only have four pairs i the pair i loved the most were by kiss lashes and i really really liked those but i lost one of them and i haven't been able to find so i i mean i threw them away since i didn't have both but the kiss lashes were pretty decent actually they have some natural ones that look much more realistic then so as to the primers i'm keeping let's see if i can how I'm going to do this. I'll just pull one box out at a time and show you. So these are my primers. I've got the Soul, uh, Touch and Soul Primer. This is the No Por no Problem Primer. It's a really great primer to give you a nice airbrush finish. Ooh, I used this on a client and she went and bought it. She loved it so much. So that's a really good one. This is the uh, Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. Go Ahead Illuminating Face Oil by Wander Beauty. It's really nice. Gives you kind of a nice hydrated look. Uh, this is also by uh, Touch and Soul No No Problem Prime Essence. This is really soft, good feeling. I really enjoy this primer as well. This is the Mary Kay Foundation uh, Primer with SPF 15. This is like a lifesaver. You need this for the rest of your life. It's really, really great primer. Use it with a brush and uh, blend it into all of your pores and circular motions and you'll have a really nice a flawless finish. Even if you weren't wearing foundation and you applied this with a brush, it automatically uplift your look. Your look. Uh, this is the blurring primer by Cover FX. I actually have the same primer over on my stuff I used earlier. Um, it's out on my. I'm using it right now. Desk. This is the Cover FX blurring primer. I really like it for giving you that flawless finish as well. This is the calming primer. I really haven't tried it much, and so I wanted to try this sample. Um, this is the Strobe Cream Hydrant um, Primer by MAC. Definitely a nice uh, illuminating look. I really like that for a dewy look. And then this is the Oil Mattifier by Mary Kay to help uh, control oil. You can pair this with this primer to give you a really good, a long-lasting finish. So these are the ones I'm keeping right now. Then as to the lotions, this doesn't include my skincare lotion I use in my bathroom. These are like also lotions I'll use as primers to give me a nice hydrated look. This is the NXN Balance Beam Oil Control Moisturizer. It's a really awesome moisturizer. Smells amazing. This particular one is infused with CBD. Um, 90 milligrams of CBD infused. It's free of THC, non-intoxicating, obviously. Otherwise, I would not have it. Um, this is the Caprice Antioxidant Dew. This is really, really nice. I love this. This feels really good on your skin. Um, this is another little sample I've never tried, so. The, uh, Confidence in a Cream by it Cosmetics. This is a sample size, but I have used the full size, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's great lotion. Uh, this is the Botanical Effects Hydrant. Um, it's a lotion by Mary Kay. This is the previous packaging, though. The new packaging is, like, um, it's a gel moisturizer instead of this current, more lotion-like jet moisturizer. And this is a really, really nice moisturizer. Lightweight, no-nonsense skincare. Um, and then these are the Refresh and Reveal, uh, Reveal, Refresh, and Refine Beyond Belief. Um, this is a Beta Hydroxy, Alpha Beta Hydro, ABH, 
Oh, it's got ABH. Sorry. Um, with ABH green tea and a blend of multiple fruit botanicals to smooth and provide oil-free hydration, it's supposed to help oil control, and I really liked it for that reason for quite a while. So that's what this is. I have two of those because I really liked them. You can find them at Sally's Beauty if you want them. Mary Kay you can find in my link below for MaryKay.com. Um, MaryKay.com backslash K backslash K Peel or K Pile. It's K Pile, but I always say that in my head because people will spell it wrong if they say pile. Um, this one I got from BoxyCharm, so you'll want to look in BoxyCharm's previous boxes for this one. Uh, this was sent to me. You can get this um, at itcosmetics.com. This is a sample. You can get this um, at nxnbeauty.com, or is it just nxn.com? I think it's nxnbeauty.com. Or there's a link below where you can get 35% off with my link. Um, it is an affiliate link, so if you don't like that, don't get it. But I do like the stuff, so I'm not just shouting out things I don't like. Next drawer. We have foundations. Um, I will, when I'm done with this, I'll go over to my table, because I have a couple things out on my table that are not included in these. So, right here I've got the Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. This is a very um, full coverage foundation. And what's funny is this was $10. And the Tarte, uh, what was it called? The Shape Tape Foundation. Uh, they reminded me similar of each other for their, their amount of coverage and their long last for oily foundations. But I like this one better. It's just a little bit lighter and shows your oil a little bit less. It lasts all day. I really, really enjoy this foundation, um, but it's for my full coverage day. Like, I'm a glammed out girl when I wear this one. This is the Tarte Foundation Stick. This is in Fair Neutral. Um, I really like that it's packaging. It has this cute little, like, soft bubble on the end. It's just a little stick foundation. You apply it in little stripes and blend it around with your foundation brush or a um, beauty blender if you desire, or beauty sponge. This one... I am torn. I like it. I don't feel it lasts as long as my oil, on my oily face, but I really like the finish and the application of it. I just don't know how long it lasts. I need to do like a foundation test with this and see how long it lasts. Um, this is the W7. I don't know what branding that is. W7 Legend Long Lasting Foundation or Long, what is it? Lasting Wear Foundation, sorry. It told me it's supposed to last for a super, super long time, so that's why I say that. So I got this for $3 at TJ Maxx, and I really, really liked its uh, finish when I tried it in the summertime, but now it's so dark, I haven't worn it in a while, and I can't say that I remember exactly what I thought of it, because it's been a hot minute. This is the Matte and Poreless Foundation. I probably need to toss this one and get a new one, but I really did like this foundation. Once again, this is my summer shade, and I'm still super winter shade. Um, and I really liked this for matte wear, a nice full coverage look, or, or medium to full coverage look. It's definitely not necessarily light, light wear, unless you just don't use very much of it. You can make it light wear if you use little and build it slowly. But this was a really nice foundation, and I think it was like $5 for such a great foundation. It's it's a pretty decent foundation. Uh, this is by Jouer Cosmetics. It was a matte moisture tint sunscreen, and this was just a sample size, but I love this so much for summertime to just throw it on, run out the door. I love like CC creams or BB creams, um, or matte, you know, moisture tinted sunscreens for summertime when I don't wanna wear a lot. This is a Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. Love this foundation. So good. This is my summer shade, but it's so, 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 so good. Love this foundation. This is the Wet n Wild um, uh, Photo Focus Foundation, and I remember using this. It smells like paint thinner, which is kind of horrifying, um, but I remember it having a really good look, like a very I'm going to go take pictures look. And so I want to try it again and give it another give it another try. A lot of people really loved this one, and so I want to try it again. It was very sticky when I applied it, though, so I would say definitely set it down with a powder before you do any bronzing over the top, or it's not going to budge because it's a very sticky foundation. Um, yeah, and then my, found, my Mary Kay foundations are over there, and I love them. I'll show you them in a minute. These are my powders I'm keeping. These are like finishing powders. I've got the uh, Pretty Vulgar 
the powder room, Mad About It powder. This is in the shade Translucent. It's a translucent setting powder. And I really, really like it. It came with a big puff that I don't ever use because those really retain oil if you don't clean them. But sometimes they do a good job at what they're, I mean, there's a reason that they're in there oftentimes. So I liked this powder. It's not as finely milled as I like, but it is a very nice powder. This is the Mary Kay Ivory One Mineral Foundation. Great, great powder for an awesome, like, a nice light finish or over the top of a um, liquid foundation for a much more medium to full coverage finish. And then this is the, also this is milled five times, whereas the industry standard is two to three times. So that's pretty awesome. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I like the size for travel, but I haven't used this in quite a while to remember how I liked it. I remember it being very fine and that I did like it. It has this interesting um, texture. It's, it's strange. This is the Lori Mer Laura Mercier Powder. I loved this one. This is just the small size, like a, um, a small or sample size. And this is their Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I loved this one. Very smooth, very good powder. This is the e.l.f. Under Eye Powder. I liked its smoothness. This is in the shade Sheer, but I, I'm i interested into why it's just an under eye powder, so I need to try it again. I did remember liking it the first time I used it, though. Don't quote me on that if it's awful, though, because I did only, like, try it twice. Uh, this is the Cover Effects Powder. This is Translucent Light Finishing Powder. It's so tiny, but I remember... Um, someone saying it for oily skin, it was a really good powder, so I need to try this a little more. I haven't, it's been a hot minute since I've used it, so I can't give you an exact opinion on it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. If you're somebody on a dime budget, Maybelline Fit Me are, are pretty great. You can get the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and this Translucent Powder, and you have a pretty dang good combination on a, on a dime. Um, but... There are better powders, like the more finely milled, the better. But for a drugstore powder, this is really great, just no-nonsense makeup. This is the Maybelline Stay Matte uh, Mattifying Loose Powder. And I remember using it and liking it for quite a while. It's not my favorite, like I do have other favorites, but it is a decent powder. Um, and there's just not much left, so I wanted to use what's... Gee, there's like nothing left. I'm just going to set that on my table so I can finish it off. Uh, this is the Elizabeth Arden Translucent uh, Skin Smoothing Loose Powder. It's a ceramide powder. Or is that the color ceramide? Skin Smoothing Loose Powder Translucent. Ceramide Skin Smooth. I don't know. It says ceramide. The packaging dip is different now, I believe, for how they encompass this powder. But this powder is glorious. Definitely in my top ten for powders. Uh, Elizabeth Arden did a really good job on this one. These are my blushes and highlighters that I'm keeping. So I have the Ofra Cosmetics Blush in Sweet Stuff. I really like that one. The Physician's Formula Blush in Marumu Baby. It's a butter blush. Um, let's see, blushes. This is the O Natural Blush. It's a like a stick blush. You blend it out and you can have really, really nice light finish with this one. Um, if you're somebody that likes to use cream products, I would really, I would suggest this one. If you're not really a cream product person, this might not be your favorite. Uh, is that my only blushes? Oh, this is the Note Blush in the shade Desert Rose. It's just a nice, simple peach. I really like that. And then this is the Alamar Cosmetics um, Trio, Blush Trio. Great, great trio. I really, really enjoy these, especially in the summer. Uh, then on to highlights. Let's see. This is a highlight uh, by Ibby. Ibby? Ivy? I don't know. It's just a simple little highlight. It's in this shade Private Jet. And I just don't remember if I liked it or not. And it's new and it's cute and it collapses. It's got, I don't know, It it's asking for me to remember if it's good or not. This is the Artist Couture um, Summer Haze Diamond Glow Powder. This is an amazing highlight. So good. If you had to buy one highlight, this might be it. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Highlight Shade. This is an Ever, uh, Highlighter Everglow. It's the Ofra Times Nikki Tutorials Highlighter, and it's a great little trio. You can choose from a multitude, like from the really light one, from the little bit more gold and copper shade. I like using this. You can smudge this in with your bronzer and give you a really, really interesting, like, vibrant summer look. 
Uh, these are the Cover FX uh, Glitter Drops. I wore these and I wasn't sure if I was a fan and my husband said he loved it. Uh, these are the Cover FX, um, what are these? These are the Custom Enhancer Drops. Uh, this is in the shade Moonlight. These in your foundation give you a really, really pretty finish. This is the Tarte Highlight in the shade Stunner. It's a really nice one. This is the uh, Physician's Formula Murmuru Baby Butter Highlighter. That's a nice one. The Tarte, this is in the shade Stunner, I believe, also. It's worn off. Um, this is a Tarte Liquid Highlighter, and I wanted to figure out if I liked this more. I just don't use liquid highlighters a lot. And then this is the Ciate London um, Dewy Sticks, and this is a really, really nice natural highlight. Sorry, these are moving. You can like apply this to your fingertip and then just smudge it over your over the areas you want to highlight and it just looks really beautiful, really natural. It's it's such a nice, nice subtle finish instead of like a stripe down the side of your face. Like it's just a nice dewy natural highlight. I really like it. Oh whoops, I forgot about my contour palette. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a Revol makeup revolution uh, contour palette, and I loved it for quite a while. It comes with a highlight, some light shades. Dark shades, a banana color, a more um, pinkish tone color. What am I trying to say? It has a really deep color, obviously, that I never used. I swapped between these two. I really enjoyed this light color. These light colors, I didn't really use the banana color much. Um, they were good for their time, but I just haven't used them much anymore. Oh, these are my contouring or bronzing. And then some of these are on my table as well. This is the Becca... I think this is, let's see, this is the Becca Bronze Amber Shimmering Skin Perfector, and I would use this as a bronze topper because this isn't my color for a highlight, but it looks really nice as a bronze topper. It just gives you this really, really awesome summer glow. Um, the Tarte Pro Glow to Go palette, this has three shades. It's got the um, shade Chisel for your um, contour or bronzing, burst and glam or gleam as your highlights and I really really like this trio. It's nice if you just want a simple little trio to throw in your bag and have everything you need. This is the Cover FX um, Perfector Face Palette, uh, light to medium shade tones and I used the tar out of this for quite a while. It's got a contour shade, a finishing powder to put over the top, some highlighters. The highlighters weren't totally my favorite but um, the brightener was really nice as a highlight and then a simple blush kind of a summery shade um, but it was really good and I liked this uh, mirror it had. Very full size if I needed everything I could even do my um, eyeshadow basically with this. You want it all one and done palette this was it. It was really good. Now we are to the eyeshadows, eyeliner, mascaras. This is my nail polish. So I've got a couple nail files, some stickers, and some like uh, design art here. Like, so you could draw flowers or something. And then my very few nail polishes, but I don't do nails much. So this is what I have. I have some KL polish. She changed her branding to um, Lights Label now, but these... These, um, what am I trying to say? I need more coffee now. These nail polishes are incredible. So go buy Lights Lacquer. They're awesome. Um, this is one by, who is this by? Oh, this is a Maurice's. Somebody bought me this. This is a Maurice's brand. Um, this is Sinful Colors Professional. And this is like a pretty golden topper. This one is by the Nail Medic, a charcoal infuel, infused nail polish. It's nice gray. This one is LA Colors. It's got a really fine tip so you can draw with the white color. This one is Wet n Wild Crys Crystallic nail color. And then these two are Essie brand. And then I have um, an Adesse organic infused age defined nail treatment. I need to use this a lot more. It's like a cuticle oil as well. Um, then in here I've got my mascaras and my eyeliners. So I have the it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This one's a little clumpy for me, but it is quite a good mascara. It's very, very volumizing. Oh, my husband's here. I'm gonna stop, I'll come back later. 
All right, so I'm gonna record a little bit more um, while my dinner heats up, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of speedy or in and out. Um, so we talked about this mascara. This is a Thrive Cosmetics um, Liquid Lash Extensions. It's an awesome mascara to just top your lashes. Um, and I need to use it again to remember exactly how it looks on my lashes. It was a really nice mascara and it comes off really easy. So you just put some water in your fingertips and you rub on your lashes and they come off in like little tubes that enca encapsulate your lashes. And it's a really awesome company to support. The Mile High Mascara or Mile High Club by Wander Beauty. This is a really, really good mascara. Nice lengthening. Um, this is the Big Ego Mascara by Tarte. This mascara is amazing. I don't condone having a big ego, but I condone this mascara. This is the Colossal Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline for a really affordable mascara. This is a really great uh, voluminous mascara. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, this is the Mary Kay Lash Intensity Mascara. It's a very volumizing mascara as well. This is the Mary Kay. I have two of these. These are the um, Lash Love Mascara in the Waterproof Formula. These will stay on like no matter what. You go into a funeral, you go into a wedding, you go into swimming. This is what you need. This is the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Once again, I hate the name, but I love the mascara. It's an amazing mascara. This is the Lancome Monster Big Mascara, uh, very voluminous and um, a really great mascara. When I first tried this, I remember being conflicted as to whether I liked this better than their uh, Hypnos Drama and their Definisils mascara, or if I didn't. It was it's a toss up, and there's so many good mascaras. It's hard to like pick which ones are the best. I would say that this and the Mary Kay mascara, Mary Kay um, Lash Love mascara, which I'll show you over in a minute. These are my two favorite mascaras probably in the world. And then this is the um, Too Faced Better Than False Lashes. Lash, um, these are the lash fibers. So this is step two. My step one ran out. But these are the little fart fibers you add. And so if you really want to, you could use another, fa uh, another mascara and pair them together. So I kept these just in case it would work. Um, let's see. Then I've got a bunch of eyeliner. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's another little tiny mascara. This is like a travel size uh, They're Real by Benefit. This is a really nice mascara as well. Um, this is the Jante Blue Eyeliner um, in the shade Charcoal. It's an eyeliner pencil. It's a really nice eyeliner. I really, really actually liked this one, the Jante Blue one. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. Weird name, but a good eyeliner. This is the Lancome uh, Le Crayon Co. This is in, it's like a gray shade, Black Ebony. It says Black Ebony, but it's more of a gray. It's a really nice, simple eyeliner. This is the same one. This is the Tarte uh, Tardis Pro Glitter Eyeliner in the shade White Gold, if you're doing something real fancy like. This is the Wet n Wild Eyeliner. But this is like a really good no-nonsense eyeliner. It's just a good eyeliner. And it's dirt cheap. Uh, this pen goes with this eyeliner. This is the um, Lacquer Liner by L'Oreal. And it's um, a really good long-lasting gel eyeliner. It's the kind that you dip into. And I really liked these eyeliners. Um, they had another... I think this was the new formulation of the one I used to use. But I, I really use these for a long time. They're pretty waterproof, long-lasting, great eyeliners. This is the um, Bodyography Emerald Eye Pencil. It's a nice, pretty green. This is the Lord & Berry um, Flash Purple Eye Pencil. It's a really pretty purple. This is another pretty purple done by Ulta, actually. This is the Ulta... Automatic Eyeliner in the shade Grape, and that's a pretty color. This is an awesome eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Eye Pencil. Great, great eye pencil. Seate London uh, Wonderland. Let's see, it comes with a smudger brush. This is the, does it say Wonder? Wonder Rand? Wonder Wand Gel Coal Liner, and I really liked this one for quite a long time. It's just nice application, goes on smoothly. This is the Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 Angled. Um, 
eyeliner in evergreen. It has a smudging brush at the end and then a big thick applicator at the front. I really like this one for a fun look with a little bit more green. Uh, this is the Trestique Mini Eye Pencil. It's a great simple brown eyeliner. Uh, this is the Lancome um, Art Liner and it's in the shade, oh gosh I can't read that, black. Oh wow, I was reading the little Made in France thing and it's right there, black. Black 01. So this is like a liquid eyeliner with more of a long tip. And I really like this one, it's starting to run out though. This is the NYX Professional Eyeliner. Um, it's a gel eyeliner, it's also a really, really good one. This is the, this is a Ciate London liquid uh, liner with a felt tip, also a really great one. This is one that, whoops, uh, Nikki Tutorials put in her um, Allure Beauty box when she collabed with them, and this was one of the things that was in that box. This is the um, Architect Waterproof Slim Eyeliner uh, by LA Splash Cosmetics, and it, at first, the first time I used it, I thought it was awful, and then as I got more um, liquid into the tip, I started to really, really like it. Then this is the Alme Gel Smooth Liner, also a really pretty blue, just a nice eyeliner. This is by Hard Candy, just a nice light blue if you want something kind of fun and poppy. Like I'll do like a really nice light eyeshadow, like basically no eyeshadow look, maybe just a simple shimmer or just a transition shade with a pretty liner like this and it's just kind of fun. This is the Cella Eyeliner Pen um, Eyeliner Studio Maron. Maron? I don't know how they say that. Marin. Um, and it's a liquid eyeliner pencil with a felt tip as well. It's a very intense, um, very, very intense brown pencil. This is the Mary Kay Eyeliner, and this is a shade purple. It's like, um, I don't remember what they called this shade exactly, um, like Amethyst or something like that. And it was a uh, it's older, you can't get it anymore, but it's a really nice purple. This is a gold eyeliner. I really don't even know where the, what the branding is. It's so worn off. It's just really, really smooth gel eyeliner. This is the uh, Beauty For Real liner. Um, it is... Wow, it's... It's, um... Wrapping's coming off, so I can't see it all. It's the Finish Line 24-7 Liquid Eyeliner. It's very black. It's called Jet Black. It's a really good felt tip eyeliner as well. This is a um, Laura Geller New York Incredible Green River Eyeliner. Great, great deep green color. I love it. This is the Sex Kitten Eyeliner by Tarte. Just a nice, simple black gel eyeliner. Nice, long wearing. Uh, this is the Star Looks Eyeliner. And, or not, I, yeah, Star Looks Ultra Gem Longwear Eye Pencil. Getting this off is really hard, but it's a pretty color once I get it to work. So I'm keeping it to try to give it a chance. It just, it's swatch is crap. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Color Rich Matte. Uh, this is actually supposed to be a uh, lip liner, but I love it for color. It's like a, a kind of a deep purpley pink. And it's a nice eye color as well. And then this is the um, Appeal Gel Liner in Deep Taupe, and this is um, very soft, glides on very easy. Sometimes it doesn't last long, but sometimes it does. I think it depends upon what you're wearing with it. And then um, it makes a great lip liner as well, and you can smudge it around because it's really uh, movable. The last two I have, this is um, the Ink Black List Gel Eyeliner. Um, this is by Pretty Vulgar. I rarely use it, but it's a great liner very intensive gel eyeliner that you dip into with a brush. This is an e.l.f. Oh gosh. This is an e.l.f. gel shadow or liner. You can dip in with a brush and make it a nice pretty pink. And then this is the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eye Studio. And this is in purple. And it's very, very purple. So yeah, those are the ones I'm keeping there. Hi guys. It's a new day. I'm here again. Um, my other camera <laughs> It's been a disaster for the other video I'm trying to record. And I'm just in a juggling act between cell phone, cell phone, camera, camera right now. And my brother has my nicer camera right now. So I'm currently using this very old Kodak. You'll have to forgive the quality. But I'm going to continue on. I think we were at eyeshadows last time. So we're now we're going to go through the eyeshadows I have left and the makeup bags and then the things that are currently in my... Um, 
purse right now and the Mary Kay stuff that I'm using. So, eyeshadows. I did give away a lot to try to slim this down. So, what I have left is... This is my big Mary Kay palette. This is called the Pro Palette. And this holds more than just eyeshadow in it. So I've got a bunch of eyeshadows here. It's a lot of nice neutrals to play with and um, some everyday shades. And then I've got some deeper ones. This shade called Hummingbird right here is a really, really pretty um, uh, shimmer shade. Some nice golds and bronzes and purples. And then all the really good matte shades you use for the outer third of your eye. Um, or as a transition or as a lid shade, all kinds of different things. These shadows are incredible. They blend like nobody's business. They're super pigmented and they last a really, really long time. And um, I've even found reviews by people who don't use Mary Kay all the time who really, really enjoyed these products. And they're awesome eyeshadows. I, the only thing I can say is I wish there was more fun colors for somebody that's crazy like me that likes fun colors. But there's a lot to make beautiful looks with this. And then these are uh, two of my blushes, a uh, contour shade and a highlight shade. This is in the shade Glaze, I believe. I can never remember. Yeah, this is the shade Glaze for highlight and this is the shade Latte for my contour. This is an awesome contour shade. And then this is, so this shade is Juicy Peach and then this is the other blush, uh, Desert Rose. And this is more of a straight pink it's a magnetic palette, so I can just take stuff out, rearrange them, redo it a hundred times. It's lots of fun. This is the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. I love this palette. This is actually the mini size, I believe. I think there's another one for 20 and this one's like $10 or something like that. This palette is awesome. The qualities of these shadows are incredible. These metallics are so shimmery. These mattes are great. They blend. They're creamy. I love this palette. When I run out, I'm going to want another one. Like, obviously I haven't run out. I've only, this one, I've gotten quite a good use out of this shimmer shade. But I love, love, love this palette. This was actually um, sent to me in the Allure Beauty box with the Nikki Tutorials. Uh, Times Beauty, like Nikki Tutorials collabs with um, Allure Beauty. And this was one of the things that was in that box. And I've already mentioned a couple of the other things. But this was a great, great find. All right, next I have, this is the Bold Obsessions palette by uh, Milani. It has these, a great size mirror for, you're gonna take one palette somewhere, you got a great mirror to do your whole face with it. Um, it's got some nice golds, some pretty uh, burgundy type shades, some black and blues, like you can actually match in these rows, you could go up like this, your dark shade and your light shade, all the way up and all the way up for all of them, or you can mix and match and have lots of fun. These shimmer shades are really great. They swatch really well. They're very, very metallic and very vivid on the eyes. The pigment's great. Um, it's a pretty decent palette. Like, it's not my favorite blending-wise as to other palettes that I have just because I have really great blending palettes, but it is a really, really good palette, and it's probably the best you're going to get at the drugstore or Walmart. Um, this is actually another drugstore one. This is the Wet n Wild palette in the shade uh, Not a Basic Peach. And these shades, I was so shocked for how pigmented these are. They have a lot of fallout, but they are great, great shades for those everyday looks. And it suggests a couple little looks on the back that are really cute. I tried both of them, and they were both beautiful looks. I love this transition shade, and I love this nice, really light shade. Um, and this orange is fun. This gold is fun. Like, this whole little setup, this specific um, palette, the Not A Basic Peach palette. I love these colors, especially for fair skin people. Um, and I bet if you had dark skin, these shades might look really pretty. I just don't know if it'd be quite dark enough for you. But I really, really do love this palette. And I think it was like $4. So if you get a good eye primer, use a good eye primer. I don't, I can't remember what the wear time on this was, if it had really good wear or not. Make sure you just pair your eyeshadows with an eye primer. It'll always make them last longer. This is the Shade and Light Eye Palette by Kat Von D. This is in the shade Rust. So this eyeshadow quad has this beautiful light uh, color that works as a transition or an all over the lid shade, a nice deep brown, this beautiful rust color that looks really good on green eyes, and then this really pretty uh, shimmery light color. It has a, just a tiny bit of shimmer in it, like just a subtle enough amount to give you that 
that nice little natural glisten without looking super shiny, but yet um, have just a little bit there. So this one is awesome. I love to wear this in pumpkin patch season because it's really simple. I just like throw on two of the colors or I can put all four on at once, but I'll just put a couple on and then I go for it and it brings out the green in my eyes and I'm around pumpkins and this pretty rust color looks very fall-like. Uh, the next one I have is this is the Blushing Berry by Dose of Colors. It has a nice mirror inside, a little brush. Um, I don't use the brush a whole lot. I like to use my bigger brushes because this one's so tiny. But I like this for preciseness. So you can go under your eye um, as like an eyeliner with the tipped end. And then with the more fluffy end, you can do like the outer third of your eye. Uh, do kind of the deep area where you uh, deepen up your color. has a really intensive black, some really nice pink colors. You can play with these. Um, I usually mix about two, sometimes three. I'll mix like this one in the outer third and then I'll put this one in just the outside to deepen it up and I'll line my eye with this one. And then I'll use this as a transition and I'll use this as a light shade. That's using all four. You can use all five. You can use one. Um, the colors are very, very pink and I don't find myself wearing them every day just because of the, the... Like these two, I can wear these every day, but I don't find myself wearing all of these colors every day because it's a very glam, very beautiful, romantic look, and it's just not necessarily my everyday look, but I really do enjoy this palette. So I kept it. I like its um, nice little size. I can just throw it in a bag, take it with me. Um, I'm always about travel. Can you take it and put it in your purse simply? This is the Alamar Cosmetics palette. This is their first one um, in Reina del Caribe. Uh, it's volume one. There's two palettes. I believe the other one has a mirror and it's uh, more of a deep bluish uh, purple like color. Um, and it has some beautiful shades in it as well. I love this palette. I love that it bends back like this. So if I'm doing someone else's makeup, I can just go like this. I don't have to hold it like this. Um, I like that I can just set it down and dip into it. These metallics are beautiful. And if you wet them, you can even make them more intense. So I love, love, love these colors. I love using these ones regularly and then these ones on a special occasions. Um, these colors are so beautiful. I love wearing these colors on my eyes. I don't know what it is, but this coloring, it just looks really good on me. And I always feel like a million bucks when I wear this eyeshadow palette. So if I'm going like the next step up, I'm gonna go sing or I'm gonna go do something where I wanna feel really, really pretty, I will always take this palette. And I'll take this palette with me. Um, Anytime I go on the road for an extended period of time. Uh, this palette, I actually use this today. This is the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. And when I first looked at it, I was like, will I use that? Those are some bright shades. But today I use this shade called Sand and this shade called Cinnamon. And then, did I use anything else? Yeah, that's all I used. I used the shade called Sand and Cinnamon. And it makes this really nice, um, vibrant coloration, but that's still like, an everyday wear. Um, I really, really like the, the, they're very pigmented, they're pretty, so far so good. Um, I have it, I've worn it like twice, so I can't really say I really totally love it yet, but I wore it today and I really did enjoy it. All right, this is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. I almost got rid of this, but I was, I was so torn. It has a nice mirror so I can take it and do my makeup in it, which I always like once again, because I'm on the go. Um, it has some nice neutrals, so I've got this really nice light taupe color, a deeper brown. I've got the really dark shades to mix with kind of this blue shade and you can make a really, really stunning night out look. Um, and then these light shades right here are really, really nice. I love this middle shade called Pillow Fight. It's really beautiful. And then these nice um, like bone color shades for um, the highlight areas or bringing, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, highlight areas. I really do like this palette. I did a video on my channel way back when called, what was it called? I don't even remember, but I'll link it. I'll put a little card right here and you can click on it and go watch it if you're interested. And I was using this palette. Um, it's an old video though. The next one I have is the uh, Celestial Thunder by Dominique Cosmetics. And this one was another one where I was like, those colors though, holy crap, those are bright. But I love it. I mean, I haven't used it a whole lot. I wore these two the other day. I don't think they wore as long on the eyes, though. Um, I didn't build them up really intensely, though, so I need to give it another shot. Um, I love these colors. I always love these colors. This Luna Eclipse, Lunar Eclipse and Stormy Storm Dust. 
these two colors always look really good on me, and you'll see it throughout my palettes. Like, I always keep the ones that have these colors because I really like them. The pink always brings out um, a little bit of my green eyes. I love this uh, shimmer shade right here, very, very metallic. All very pretty colors, and I'm excited to use them more. I had another palette with this color, and I don't wear it super often, but when I do, uh, I get compliments, so maybe I should wear it more often. The next one, this is the Element of Surprise palette by ColourPop. And some people didn't like this one because of its coloration, but I really do enjoy it. I like using all the neutrals in here. And then this pink is so pigmented. Like, you, you dip in your brush and you build these up because they are pigmented. I used these the first time. One time I was going on a trip and I was just like, holy cow, I look like a clown because I had built it up so fast. So um, take your time with these. They're really pretty, great shades. I love these eyeshadows. I have the Ace Beauty Grand Bois palette. I love the packaging on this. It's so pretty. It's so grand. And these colors, once again, you can kind of see those colors that I really like. I love, love, love this palette. I love to put this on my lid, use this as an eyeliner around my eyes, and just deepen it up enough, put a tiny bit of this in the corner, highlight with that, and it's this beautiful look. Or you can do a peachy look and line with this one. Um, this cinnamon shade is gorgeous. I love this palette. So good. I took just this palette on my first anniversary trick, and I was so excited by how many looks I could create with just these few shades and how pretty they looked with my coloring. So I really like this palette. Next up, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Palette, Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. Uh, this one I used a lot. This was probably my first nice palette that I owned and so I've hesitated to get rid of it even though it is probably the older the oldest of the group um, but I love it so much uh, these peanut butter shades and truffle they're just they're like a really nice eyeshadow that you can build up to the desired effect that you want and you'll come out with a beautiful natural look every time like you can build it up so you can look glam but you can also start natural and they're they're shades that you can you can make natural or you can make bold and the highlights are beautiful. This butter pecan shade or pecan, however you say it, makes an amazing highlight. So if you want to highlight your um, cheeks or your nose or whatever you want to highlight, this makes a great highlight shade. I actually have contoured with and uh, highlighted and contoured with this entire palette and I did a video about it a really long time ago but the video didn't turn out so I didn't post it. But I actually loved it. I contoured with this mousse shade. I highlighted and my whole face looked glorious using this one palette. I really, really liked it. My feet are going numb, so I'm going to tip over for a second. Okay. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, the subculture palette. Apparently, this palette gets quite a bad rap. But I got this for my friend. She bought it for me. We both wanted Anastasia palette really bad. And she was able to find it at a reasonable deal and buy it for me. So that was my birthday present and I was so thankful. Um, I wore this in one of my videos that I'll put a card up right here. And I did like Anastasia subculture one minute uh, look. And I made it short video so you could just watch and do it really quick. And I actually really do enjoy this palette. Um, it does have fallout if you're a person who's not a fan of fallout. I would always use a primer to make sure it goes on. The only thing I have noticed is two of the shades, I don't remember which two now, I think it's this gray shade, Mercury, doesn't blend super great. Um, these uh, shimmer shades are awesome, they're spot on. This shade called Roxy is really pretty. All of the, the mattes are all beautiful. The only thing I found was um, I think like two out of the bunch didn't blend super amazing or they didn't like attach to your eye and stay there. It was interesting. I had to like re-put it there a bunch of times. So that was my only complaint. I really do like this palette. I just haven't found myself using it a ton lately, but I do like it and I need to get back in the habit of using it. This is the Pure Cosmetics Festival palette. I also have their, um, what was it called? It was like a circus-like looking one and it had a, a pretty eye on the front, like a, a face mask. Not a face mask, but, you know, like an eye mask that's really grand and pretty. And what was that called? I can't remember. I think it's at my mom's house. I need to find it because I loved that palette. Anyways, this is a Pure Cosmetics palette um, in the festival. Uh, what am I trying to say? The festival Pure Cosmetics palette. It has a nice mirror. It bends over backwards like this so you can dip in and go on people's faces. It has these same colors that I love every time I do my makeup. These are my favorite colors. 
These shimmers are really, really nice. They give you that beautiful look without being like the smack you in the face metallic. And then the, these are like incredible. The only thing is I would say definitely get like a glitter glue, uh, eye glitter glue, not just a glitter glue, to, to adhere these to your eyes because when I wore it at first it was really pretty, but they would separate and get really gross throughout the day. So you want to make sure you use the proper eye glue for that. And then these colors are awesome. Obviously I rarely use these two just because they're so pop, but they're really fun to mix in with all of these. So if you are going to a festival, you're going to something fun, a concert, a fair, um, it mixes things up and makes it really fun. This palette was my favorite palette for a while and I was using this um, strictly for quite a while. This is the Morphe eyeshadow palette. Uh, what shade is this? This is Nightmaster 15N. And I love this one as well. I was exclusively losing, using this one. These shades are really good. They blend well. They're beautiful. I mean, I have no nothing against them. The only thing is that they these shimmers weren't quite as intense as I wanted them to be. They're really creamy. They feel beautiful. I mean, they're still really pretty. They weren't they weren't the same intenseness as the Alamar shimmers, but they're a good like everyday shimmer. Like you still look really pretty. It's still an awesome pop of color. You could still use it for glam and you could still use it for every day because it's not like slap you in the face metallic. It's like that perfect versatile um, shimmer. And that's that's a good thing. I loved using this shade, this, blah, 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 this shade Selfie and I would uh, transition custom and then I would use this as my outer third and I would build it into the crease of my eye and then I would dip into uh, this Va Va Voom shade to give it some Va Va Voom. And I really love this palette. I kept it because uh, I need to remember to dip into it. The hardest part about having a lot of palettes is that you find yourself stuck in a rut always using the same palette because you'll find one you really love and you use it all the time. And that's what normal people do. They have one that they use all the time or two a couple times. And when you have as many as me, you forget and you neglect your favorite palettes or other palettes because you you find one that you just kind of get stuck in. So I have been trying to go like change my eyeshadow palette every day. When I'm on, a, on the grind and I'm in a hurry, I'll just use the Mary Kay every time because I know I can get my same, like I can get the look I want. It'll be beautiful. I'm at no risk and I'll always use that one. Um, but when I have time to play, I'll, I'll dip into these. These are um, the Alter Ego palettes, well, two of the Alter Ego palettes in Goddess and Sahara. Goddess, I believe, was supposed to be created to be a dupe of the Natasha Denona palette that is her gold palette. I don't remember what it's called. It might just be gold palette. But the it's supposed to be a dupe of that palette. And Allie Glines did a video on it, and she said that she thought it was really, really great. And it, it compared to the Natasha Denona palette. And so I actually bought it because of that. And then I bought this Sahara palette because these shades are, once again, the shades that just look really good on me. Fall colors are like my colors. They always look really nice. Um, even though I wear black more than I wear fall colors. Um, anyways, these are really great palettes. Their pigmentation is great. There is a bit of fallout on this one, I find, as you can kind of see it around um, the, what am I trying to say? The packaging. Also, though, this is like that pretty suede feeling. So it, it attracts any fallout. Um, the colors are great. I haven't used this in a while to give you like a great emphasis on blending or not, but um, I did think it was odd that there were so many golds because I was like, they're not crazy different, but they're, there's so many golds. It's interesting. So I did wear this on Thanksgiving though, and I wore this uh, Ameth or Armidas and Iris these two green shades and they were beautiful. I used the gold before I mixed in the browns. It's a very good palette. And these palettes are all make, or these shades right here, Athena, Hera, and Juno all make really, really good transition shades. And then, whoops, uh-oh, domino effect. This Sahara palette just has like rocking everyday colors and it totally can be built up to glam. It's got three shimmer shades still, so you can give it that extra little boom. Um, but you can also use it every day. I, in palettes like this, I almost desire for more variation in shade instead of so similar of shades. But at the same time, if you're going to dip into them every day and you want to just tweak it a little bit, the having the similarity gives you the ability to tweak those looks a little bit, to mess, to blend, to just play with it all. All right, now I have two Tarte palettes. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. And this is just a really good everyday palette. Um, 
if I remember correctly, it didn't wear as long as I wanted it to, but I need to try it again. It's literally been like, this is sad, it's been like probably like six months since I've used this palette, or more. It might be even more than that. But I remember really liking it for a couple days, and or like a week, I wore it straight every day, and I everybody complimented me, so I was like, something looks good, and I felt confident. So I like these colors for an everyday palette. Like I feel like if you want a one and done simple palette, this would be a great option. And then this one I kept, this is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette, because it's basically all shimmers. It has one transition or lid shade, but these shimmer shades are so intense. Like, so beautiful, so pop, so metallic and shimmery um, that I was like, anytime I need a shimmer shade or I need a one-and-done look and I just want to put a shimmer on my lid and go out the door with some mascara, this is the palette. Like, if you're 13 and all you want to wear is one shimmer on your lid, this one. This is actually a Natasha Denona single shade. This is in Obeyed. Obeyed? I don't know how to say it, to be honest. It's just a really nice, pretty gold. Very metallic, um, very glitter-filled. It's just a really, really nice, pretty gold. I love this packaging of this single, though. It shuts quite nicely. It looks sleek and pretty. It's a nice single. Then I've got... This is the Bare Minerals um, Nude Peach. This is like um, a glimmer shade. This is quite... I've had this for a long time. But the shimmer is just so intense, I think it would make a beautiful highlight or a beautiful shimmer shade on your eye. And then this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer or Butter uh, butter Eyeshadows. This is the Murumu, I can't say this, Murumuru, Murumuru, I can't say it. Barefoot in Brazil, Barefoot in Brazil and Sundown. It's the Butter, uh, butter Duo. And this is nice for like, a one and done, like um, a five minute look. So you have no time left at all. You just put this in your transition, you put this on your lid, you throw your mascara on and you go out the door. Like this is a five minute one and done look and it's pretty, it's refreshing, you still got color, you still look good, super simple, super good option. And it's probably broken now. It's not broken. Okay, this is the um, Meek and Mia. I don't know if it's Meech and Mia, Meek and Mia, m and &M Shadows. Uh, you can go to meekandmia.com. And this is just a loose glitter gold, like a goldish copper shade, and it's so beautiful. I rarely use it, but it's perfect for those occasional occasions when I need it. Um, this is another, like, quick, you're in a hurry fix. This is um, by Model Co. I believe that's how you say it. Metallic Eyeshadow Trio. Um, My Co My Konos is what it's called. My Konos. I don't know how to say it or how it's supposed to say it what it is but it's by model co it's a simple little trio they're all shimmer shades which is usually not my favorite to have in a uh, trio because I like to have a matte shade for my transition um, or various I, I like to put a matte in my outer crease not necessarily a shimmer shade but I did use this the way I would normally do it and my eyes still looked really nice it was very like um, summer-esque so if you're out going on the beach and you just want a simple little look you can use these shades and give you that really nice, simple, out-the-door look. Okay, this is the Ciate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. This thing is so holographic. Look at that. I don't even know if you can see that. Oh, I'll just have to, you'll just have to take my word for it. This is holographic. And I someday will have an occasion to wear this. Then this is just another simple little um, pretty cream eyeshadow. It's just a nice light color. I haven't used it. Maybe I should get rid of it because I haven't. It's by Eye Lights. Oh, actually it's by Model Co. So it's the same one that this one was by. They're both from Model Co. Um, but it's like a simple nice color. Last thing, this is that liquid glow though. It's supposed to be a liquid highlighter, but it was way too thick to be a liquid highlighter in my opinion. So what I was like, oh, I got an idea. Eyeshadow. You can make one heck of a metal, metallic look with this. If you need that pop of shimmer, not even shimmer, if you need that pop of freaking glow, this is, where, this is what you need. And then, this is going to be such a long video, I'm sorry. Alright, so these are the lip glosses and lipsticks and liquid lipsticks I kept. 
I kept um, this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. It's really great. This Hard Candy Metallic Mousse. Um, this is an LA Colors Pout Lip Gloss Matte. It's just a simple, nice one. Uh, Vivid Matte Liquid uh, by Maybelline New York. Uh, it's nothing special. It doesn't stay on very long, but it's pretty. Uh, this is Pavier Lip Gloss. This is actually from Wish, and for that alone, I'm like, should I get rid of it? But the color is really nice, and it stays on really well. This is by ColourPop. Um, this is in the shade Speed Dial, and it's a really pretty, warm, um, like a fall color. Like, you know, the theme that I have had lately. This is the Dose of Colors in the shade Flirty. Um, it's just a simple, pretty pink. This is the Ofra um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. Such a good lipstick. This is probably my favorite liquid lipstick I own. Um, this is my one of my second favorites. This is the NYX Lingerie or Lingerie um, Lip. Uh, what am I trying to say? Liquid Lipstick. Um, this is a, is deeper than this Ofra one, but it's also really pretty and lasts a long time on their lips. These are Mary Kay Lip Stains. Um, this one is in Canyon Coral and Magenta Mirage. They're both bright. This is like a summery, orangey color, and then this is like a night on the dang town deep purple. And then I've got, whoops, I'm dropping things now. Uh, my lip liners are what's left, so I have a simple Maybelline liner. Did my camera just shut off? I hope not. I have a Maybelline liner. Um, this is by Estee Lauder. It's a simple, let's see, it's in the shade Tawny Rider. This is by Contour Cosmetics, and it's in the shade Juju. This is uh, Revlon Colorstay in the shade Blush. Um, this is Lord and Berry in the shade Intimacy. It's a really, really pretty one. Intimacy? Or is it Max, Maxi Matte? Oh, it's a Maxi Matte lip pencil, but it's in the shade Intimacy. Then I have, like, just a simple, this is like a clear one that you put on to establish the shape of your lips, and then you put over your other, um, product. And this is by CoverGirl. It's Farewell, um, Feathering. To help you like stay within the lines, you can go out around and hold it in, or you can go um, on the tips wherever you want to hold your lip product in. Uh, this is by Trustique. It is in the shade Tuscan Wine, and it's a mini matte lip crayon. I like the shade of red. It's a little warmer. It's really pretty. Um, and then I have a Bodyography Barely There lip pencil, and that's a really good one. Um, the one I'm wearing today is actually by Mary Kay, and it's so creamy and so soft. I'll show it to you in a minute. Then I have the L'Oreal Paris um, Always Apricot Lipstick. It's a very bright summer color, like an orange. This is a lip serum by Blistex. This is a lip treatment by Kavos. Kavos. Call me stupid, but I'm not sure. It's in the shade Raspberry. It's very red. Like, I don't wear this out and about, but I wear it when I'm at home and I want to treat my lips. I've got two different Carmexes. And then, oh, another one of my lip. How did this get in this one? This one is uh, Dirty Little Secret in Pale Pink by DLS Cosmetics. Um, DirtyLittleSecret.com. That must be the name of the store. It was sent to me. And then I've got a... Actually, I want to get rid of this. This is a Wet n Wild lipstick. It's just a simple little color, but it really doesn't do anything. Um, this is by o Oriza. Beauty. It's just a really deep, pretty pink for that night out, date night. This is by Styx Cosmetics. This is, I looked this lipstick up online because I found it for a sweet deal, but like there's a specific trio of them that sells for like $700. I was like, that's insane. But this is just a nice nude color I like to take with me in the summer times. This is by Hard Candy. It's just a simple like pink. Basics, you know, kind of nude. It's in the shade Exhibitionist. This is by Smashbox, and I like to use this to deepen up the outsides of my lips. I don't use it as my only lip shade. I use it, like, to deepen up the outside and give you that uh, big, full lip look because it's really, really dark. It's in the shade... 
be legendary. Oh, I don't know. It says be legendary lipstick warrior pose matte. Maybe this one's called Warren warrior pose. Uh, this is by e.l.f. It's a dual lipstick, so it's got one on one side that's a little deeper, more towards pink, and this side that's just nice and nude. <clears throat> this is a really good lipstick for a dirt cheap. It doesn't last at all, like don't count on it lasting, but it looks pretty when you apply it. This is by Becca. It's a really pretty, nice, warm shade. Um, you definitely have to watch your look that you wear it with sometimes, though, because like if you have any cool eyeshadow on and you put this on, it doesn't match at all. It looks bad. This is a Physicians Formula uh, Murmuru, that, I, that word I can't say, uh, butter lipstick. And it's like a nice orangey summer color for that like barely there look. Uh, this is by Tarte, and this is a very pretty shimmery lipstick. It definitely shows like glitters in it, so if you don't like that, you wouldn't like this. But it's really pretty. Um, this is in the shade Body Surf. And then this one is by Kate, or, or it's called Kate. It's by Rimmel London called Kate. Um, my friend and I were getting this together, and we saw it, and we saw the little Kate with a heart, and her name is Kate, and it's spelled like this, and we were like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So this is just a simple nude. It's just a pretty little nude. This is the Lip Gloss and Liquid Lip. Whoops. This is another hard candy lipstick in more of a pinky nude mauve color. This is in Nudist is what it's called. And then I've got a Mary Kay at Play lip gloss. This is, once again, a discontinued product. It's just a nice one for um, a simple look. Once again, like you're dashing out the door and you want your lips to be done in one thing. And maybe you just did a simple eye, like a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of mascara. It's not like a crazy glamorous look. This is like that perfect pop of color for that. This is by e.l.f. This is in the shade Natural. It's just a, a nude liquid lip or... or it's a it's a lip gloss, but it has a it has a definite pigment that's nude. Um, just a simple gloss for every day. This is uh, one I actually really liked. This is Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. It doesn't hurt. You just feel it a little bit. Um, and I really like this. My husband really likes this. I, when I was wearing it uh, very often, he was like, "I really like that lip color you're wearing." And when I would uh, pull it out, he would always tell me I looked nice. So this color apparently looks good on me. It's in the shade Apricot Silk. And then I've got, this is by Dose of Colors, it's just a simple lip gloss. Everything's worn off of it though. I only know it's by Dose of Colors, or not Dose of Colors. It's not Dose of Colors, sorry. This is by DC Cosmetics. Um, I get those two mixed up sometimes. DC, I can see the DC just barely right there, it's all worn off. Um, but it's just a simple little lips, lip gloss, everyday color. Top your lipstick with it, give it a little bit of sparkle type thing. This is the Hard Candy Wet Ever Bold Hold Lip Lacquer, and uh, this is really pretty. I like this one. It gives, it makes your lips look wet and beautiful and just like juicy. Like, if you want somebody to notice your lips, you can wear this. I should do that tonight and test it, see if it makes my husband notice my lips. I'm gonna do that. Okay, this is by Alamar Cosmetics. This is a very like holographic, uh, shiny, shiny lip gloss. Um, and it's just a simple lip gloss once again. It's not like crazy pigmented. It's in the shade Mother of Pearl Gloss, and it's just a really pretty gloss. I love the packaging. This packaging is wicked sweet. Like, even if you never wore this, it sits so pretty on your desk. Obviously, you should wear it if you have it, but it's pretty. All right, this is by Julep, or Julep, or Julep, or however you say it. It's an ultra hydrating lip gloss, and my Nana got me this. And it has this little like indent in the middle, so you can apply it like this on your indent, and then you can use the the angled end right here to go onto your where's my lips, onto your lips right here, and then you can smudge it around, and it's so so hydrating, so good, good over the top of lipstick, good under lipstick, good by itself. This is a really really great hydrating lip gloss. If you don't want to have a chapstick, you just want to have lip gloss. This one. Um, this is the Odessa New York lip gloss, and everything's worn off of it now because I wore it so much. I love, 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 love the pigmentation of this. I love the color. It's so beautiful. It gives you that wet, kissable look. But the only thing I don't like is it gets on my teeth almost every time I wear it. I was wearing it a lot, and my husband's like, you got lipstick on your teeth. Next day, you got lipstick on your teeth. Lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. And I'm like, what is wrong with my face? And I realized it's this lipstick. So I have to figure out 
a way to not give it on my teeth. If you build it up really slow and don't use too much, it does help. Um, but if you use exactly like everything that's on the wand right now, you'll have too much. So you got to use it sparingly. But I love the color, love the formula, just wish it didn't get on my teeth. Uh, then I have, this is just a Flower Beauty. Oh, no, it's not. That's this one. This is a Steve Laurent gloss. Um, this is in the shade Champagne. It's just another everyday great gloss. I like putting this one on um, when I have nothing in my purse and I just need a little bit of color on my lips. I always feel like just a little bit elevated by having this on above like just a natural lip. This is just another simple gloss. This is a Flower Beauty gloss in My Little Buttercup. I think my mom gave me this. And it's just a simple, light color. I like it for an everyday look. Um, this is by e.l.f. It's a lip oil. And it's more of a summery shade. Gives you a nice pop of color in that kind of neon, orangey, coral look. And it just makes your lips feel good. This is the Larizzi Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Vibe. Love this lip gloss. Like, I guess if I had to get rid of all these lip glosses, I'd probably keep these two. Uh, this Larizzi one and this Julep one because they're the best two out of all these. Like looking at these that are sitting in front of me, these were the two. If I had to only have two, it would be these two. Um, it has a nice light color, everyday look, still gives you a little bit of bang on your lips. I like it. This is just LA Colors. This is from the dollar store. It's just a clear shine. And I'm keeping it for those lip glosses that like kind of dry your lips out and you feel like, I like that color, but my lips look so dull. And so you just top it with this clear color and it brings your lips back to life. This is just a simple lip gloss. I have three, actually, of this kind. Two are in my purse right now, I think. And this is just a light pink one. There's a deeper pink one and then kind of a nude colored one. And they're just a perfect light lip. They give you color, yet they give you gloss. I mean... I really like these. I got them from Ross's quite a while ago. I actually think my mom and I bought a kit together. There was like tons of colors. And I picked these three and she picked a couple of the other ones. And I have used these forever. Um, I can't even see who they're by. Pure Benefits Lip Gloss in the shade. This one's in the shade Honey. What I have in here, I have, this is the first, I want to say it was the first Boxy Lux edition. Maybe it was the second one. But this is a Boxy Charm bag. It came in the Boxy Lux box that I purchased. I only purchased one, but this is the big Boxy Lux bag. It was Boxy Charm. And I like its size. I like it for traveling. So if you need to put all your cosmetics in one place for your trip, this is a pretty good size. Uh, you can hold several palettes. Basically everything you need in this. And if you're minimal on your Makeup, you could even hold your skincare in this. It's a pretty decent bag. It's a nice color. Pink's not my favorite, but, I mean, it's really pretty. It's elevated. It's classy. It's nice. Then what I have, this is from Wish, actually. It's, like, supposed to be a um, purse organizer. It's not stiff. I wish it was stiffer. But if you button it up together, it has, like, buttons on the side, so you can make it make the inside thinner. Then it is a lot more stiff if you keep it buttoned on the sides and it has all kinds of pocket zippers all kinds of things I was using this for a while when I went on trips to hold my skincare um, skincare face wash perfume all those different face washes skincare perfume deodorant you know all those things you use when you go places um, I like this for that I didn't like it in my purse though because it was so flimsy for some I don't know some people love them some people don't I still find use for it though so I currently have kept it if I don't use it soon, though, I'll probably throw it in my Goodwill bag. All right, this is a Lancome bag. It's this beautiful big bag I got one of my Christmas presents in from my Aunt Vicky, And I've kept it because it's so nice. It, I can carry tons of stuff in it. I can take it on a trip. I can feel classy even though I'm poor. I mean, I'm not poor. I'm God takes care of me. But, I mean, like, it makes me feel a little bit more elevated. A little bit more, what do they call it, extra. That's my girly moment there. And then inside I have this long comb bag as well. I got this at a second hand store and I love it for taking on trips. I can put skincare in it, I can put whatever I need, I can put my swimsuit in it. There's a lot of things you can fit in this bag, it's a good size. This is another long comb bag. Uh, I like long comb, it's one of my favorites. Um, and it's just a simple bag I've put makeup in before, 
cosmetics, taking a lot of things places. And then in it, I have another Lancome bag. I got this when I purchased um, my wedding, some of my makeup for my wedding. I got this deal, and they threw in a bag. They gave me the wrong color, which is kind of funny. I think they ran out of the color that I wanted, but this works fine. And inside it, I have various uh, Ipsy bags. So I did the Ipsy subscription for a while, and they send you a bag each time that you get makeup. So I have... Uh, two in my purse currently, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six in here. And I only tried to keep the ones I really like, and my I really don't need these, like really. But when I go out and I do other people's makeup, it's nice to have all the things separated, and I can be like, okay, uh, I used this set in this bag for this client's face, and I used this set in this bag for this client's face. Um, if I'm using Mary Kay, it kind of blends together, but if I did dip into one of the uh, non-Mary Kay products, then I, I want to remember who used what and who I put on whose face. Obviously, I've kept way more than your standard person, but I do makeup as, whoops, I do this as a career, obviously. Like, it's, it's part of my career. It's part of my side hustle. It's part of a lot of things. It's how I make people feel better about themselves. I have a lot of makeup. All right, so we're gonna go through uh, what I have in my purse currently or what I was using today. Um, I have, this is, I'm almost out of this one, so I have this new one. This is the Mary Kay Translucent Loose Powder. I love, love, love this stuff. Beautiful, great finish, blurs, pores, blurs. Like it just gives you this really great finish. Um, so I'm almost out of this one. I've just opened this one. These are the two other lip glosses I talked about a second ago where I said I had um, some that were matching. And excuse my really dry hands. They are very dry. Washing my hands constantly with this virus going around. So uh, these are the lip glosses that went with that. These are, I don't even know if the shades will show up anymore. They're so worn down. Yeah, I can't even tell what colors they were anymore. Uh, this is, while I have these out, this is the lip pencil I told you about that's really, really good. This is the Mary Kay Lip Liner. Um, it has a sharpener on the end so you can make your edge a little bit more pointed. And it's a simple twist up. Very, really nice. Very, really nice. That works. Uh, it's just a very nice, easy glide on pencil. No hesitation. Goes on so smoothly. Blends so smoothly. You can apply it all over your lips and act like even it's a lipstick. This is the Time Wise Matte 3D Foundation by Mary Kay. This is in the shade uh, Neutral 140. Ivory Neutral 140. This is my shade right now. Um, I love this makeup actually. It has that beautiful buildup. So a lot of times you put makeup on and it looks cakey um, or it's too full coverage or it's not enough coverage. This is like the perfect blend for me because you can use a more intensive brush and build it up to a more full coverage or you can make it just a simple nice everyday coverage. And it just, it lasts long, it wears away pretty, it doesn't separate and look bad on your face. I love this foundation. As soon as I use up all my other ones, I'll probably only keep this one and maybe, if any other, the Flower Beauty Foundation, the Light Illusion Foundation. Uh, this is the Mary Kay Primer. I talked about this in over... Um, on the primers that I kept because I have another one of these over there. This is a great primer. It has SPF 15 in it. If you use it in circular motions, it will fill in your pores, give you a nice airbrush finish. If you don't want to wear foundation, you can wear just this alone and it'll uplift your face look like substantially just by covering and filling in your pores and giving you a nicer finish. Um, this is the Pure Cosmetics um, Sculptor Palette. It has two highlight shades that are kind of golden and two deep shades that are brown. Obviously, I rarely use these two because I'm super white and this is already pretty darn dark. So I barely dip into this if I contour with it. And I barely dip into this because it's a little too dark for my skin, but it works uh, if you use it lightly. And then you can use all of these as eyeshadows together and it'll make a really pretty look. So if I use this as my contour and highlight and this as my eyeshadow, I get a really, really nice cohesive look. Um, and it smells really nice. It kind of smells like chocolate. What is inside this? Bag number one. A bunch of brushes I used today. Whoops, I bumped my camera. So, inside here I have my cheek brush from Mary Kay. This is the best foundation brush in the world. It's filled with my primer right now. Um, 
but this foundation brush literally I have tried so many brushes this is so good I haven't tried it cosmetics so maybe it cosmetics I've heard people say it's really good their brush but this foundation brush is a forever for me I will always own and repurchase this brush you apply it apply it in circles onto your face and you will blend in those pores and you will evenly disperse your makeup like this brush is glorious um, this is a Mary Kay all over powder brush um, this one I need to wash it right now it's not as uh, light and fluffy as usual apply your foundation all over nice light finish also if you have oily skin you can apply a mineral foundation like this pressing it onto your skin and it'll help mattify that and keep uh, your oil away longer this is the all over eyeshadow brush um it's just a simple great shadow you can put it on your lid you can put it on the outer edge build it up it's just a good brush in general um these are let's see these are luxie brushes these three and these are really great i love these brushes i love that this is double sided i can highlight i can do my transition or i can do my outer third i like this one for the buildability build ability the ability to build up with this I can apply it in the outer third of the eye and blend it into the transition this is um, just a simple brush I like to do when I'm doing brows or putting a um, highlight near the brow bone uh, or you can do an inner corner highlight with this this is by Farah and it is a really nice brush it has this nice light edge for packing it on or for going under your lower lash line a night nice big fluffy end for your transition obviously they have the pigment I wore on them today this is the eye smudger brush by Mary Kay it has a nice fine tip so you can give yourself a like basically an eyeliner effect but smoky uh, with by using this instead of eyeliner this is the eyeliner end on this brush this is the Mary Kay eyebrow and eyeliner blush or brush it has a nice eyeliner tip on this side I don't know if you guys can see this Hopefully these aren't all blurry. And then a eyebrow spoolie on the end. This is a cream eyeshadow br brush, so you can dip into a cream eyeshadow and paint it on. Or I like to use this with contour and under eye corrector to go under my eyes to cancel out any dullness or darkness. This is the powder brush, so if you have a foundation, you can use this to blend it upon your face and build it up. Uh, this gives a really, really nice... Um, like almost airbrush finish when I find that I use this to brush on any powder it looks so nice especially when I'm using my Mary Kay mineral foundation or the translucent loose powder it just gives it a really really soft focus finish and yeah that's all the brushes I believe so that's the brushes then in here I do have one other brush that's not over here one or two and they're both one is Luxie and one is Farah so one is like a crease brush and one is like an all over lid brush and they're both by one is Luxie and one is Farrah and they're really great brushes too so that's my other bag this is the Mary Kay cream eyeshadow this is in the shade beach blonde this is a perfect eye primer like this is great you put this on you can put concealer over it and this will hold your eyeshadows on all day you don't have to put concealer over it I only do that to cancel fine lines but this Prime, or this liquid eyeshadow is the best primer I've ever used probably up with the um, pure cosmetics get a grip primer then I've got I think I already showed this in the eyeliner this is the appeal gel eyeliner and deep taupe this is LA colors it's actually a brow pencil it's super simple super cheap it's a dollar but I actually like it for when I'm in a hurry uh, this is the Mary Kay eyeliner this is in deep brown really simple glide on beautiful um eyeliner it's really really great and it's really easy to apply you're not going to be like sitting there yanking at your eye to put it on this is the brow volumizing brow tint this one is in the shade blonde obviously since i'm blonde and you can i usually like wipe off a little bit because my brows are so thin and then i brush through my brows with this uh here i have my two concealers in the closest to my skin tint that i have i have light ivory and deep ivory i usually use light ivory to conceal veins on my eyes and i use deep ivory for my skin tone because your concealer should be as close as your skin tone that you can get this is the under eye corrector and i mix this with my deep ivory to um, get rid of any dullness or darkness under my eyes I think I already mentioned this this is the oil mattifier it's a primer to help uh, reduce oil this is the cover FX 
Blurring Primer. I mentioned earlier, it's an awesome primer for blurring out your pores, giving you a really nice, soft, smooth finish. These both do a similar thing. So if you have either, either works. This one does have sunscreen and comes out nicer. This one like farts out. It's kind of hilarious. Like it puffs out in these unmanageable little puffs, but it is great when you use it on the skin. Uh, what else do I got? This is the Precision Brow Liner Pencil by Mary Kay. It's nice and fine tipped, really good. This is in the shade Dark Blonde. I think blonde is a little bit better of a suit for me though. This dark blonde is just a little bit too red for me. Um, this is the CC Cream. I love this cream so much. This is in the shade Very Light. And this is awesome for in the summer when I'm at the beach and I'm on, uh, on my trips. I just throw this on my face and I can run out the door and I already look, I look glowy. It, it's color correcting, CC cream, color correcting cream. It'll give me a little SPF 15 and give me a really nice glow. So I really like this for a lightweight, uh, light coverage look. And then what have I missed? This is my favorite Mary Kay mascara. This is the Lash Love mascara. It has um, one of these kind of like wispy tips. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this with this crappy camera. Um, but this is a really, really nice mascara. I love it because I can build it up. You can do a coat on one eye, coat on the other eye, coat on one eye, coat on the other eye. And then you can continue to build it till you look like you have beautiful, huge lashes. That's pretty much all my makeup. I do have a couple more brushes sitting over um, in the area where I do people's makeup. So I got rid of about a bin this wide and this tall of makeup. I gave about three quarters of that to my friends and I have about another quarter I'll probably take to Goodwill if they'll take it. If you do ever um, buy into the secondhand makeup policy, make sure to disinfect it. Make sure it's not a mascara. Make sure it's not um, something that's going to cause someone else's bacteria to get onto your bacteria. You know what I'm saying? So be cautious. Uh, use alcohol. Like, yeah, not, not use alcohol. Like, use disinfecting alcohol and keep everything nice and clean and um, know where you're getting it from or or let it be not used like maybe somebody got it and they never used it and they're getting rid of it all right thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you're here clear till the end I hope you got some insight out of this um, I wanted to make sure I gave like kind of like reviews with the products I was decluttering and the products I was keeping, giving you some information that's valid and a lot of info. It will be a long video, but hopefully you'll learn some or just have fun or be entertained, depending on what you're doing. Um, thanks for coming. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe. So in the comments, I want you to tell me what kind of makeup person you are. Are you the person that builds up a collection and you use it all the time? Are you an artist so you have tons of it? Or are you the average everyday person and that's not a bad thing like you probably save a lot of money or are you the are you the normal person that just has what they truly love and they use do you use a little do you use a lot do you have a good collection like tell me what you like tell me what you've got and um, maybe who's your favorite makeup brand along at the bottom all right I love you all I hope to see you in my next video thank you for coming have an awesome day bye guys